Oh, it's a weird angle. It's not, it's not really. It's all right. Hi. Hello. Hello. Hello, everybody. Oh, it's much better lit on here than it is through the camera. Yeah, we've had to shut the curtains and the blinds because it's blazing sunshine here today and it was really affecting the lighting. So, uh, in, a, in a weird twist, we've gone live on Facebook, Facebook and YouTube. Uh, so I'm just going to make sure that I can share. For a laugh, you know, as I always ask at the start of these videos, whilst Paul's sharing on Facebook and letting as many people know about our Tackling Tofu live stream, can everybody see us and can everybody hear us okay? Because the oven is preheating in the background. It's not, it's not really, all right. Hi! Oh, it's much better oh. So there, sorry. Yeah, the there we go. I've just copied the link. Thank you, Denise. So I hope you're all well. Uh, the idea about today's video really was to um, to tackle tofu because I still hear a lot of people saying that they're struggling with it or they don't know what to do with it or they want to get into it or, you know. All of that. Because it's fair to say... I think that we had a couple of years of being vegan where we didn't really fully get on board with tofu. Um, and I think quite a few people, as Paul's just said, um, struggle with it. Or maybe they've got one thing that they do with it and they do it successfully. But actually, it's a wonderful, wonderful thing. Uh, and as hopefully you'll find out this afternoon, if you didn't already know, because I guess some of you are here are probably tofu experts anyway, um, we're going to go through three or four different things during the live. I'm sure people will be quite interested in how we do yes. uh, the tofu. So, uh, because it might be different. But we're, we're going to, uh, if you, we're not going to rush into this. We're going to hang around for five, ten minutes, uh, see if we get more people, and then we'll get on with. Um, Tackling tofu. Angela has a fridge stuffed with tofu. We'll give a few shout outs before we uh, before we get started as people are arriving. Um, Earfront, uh, Denise, of course, Angharad's Life, Cat Force, us three vegans, Hedge Rider in the house, our wonderful, wonderful mod. Thank you so much for being here. Look at uh, this Lauren. shot, look on your face, thumbnail. No, this. <laughs> Shield Maiden, Samantha, Jill, Michael is in the house, Nikki, Northern British Gaming, Vanda, Stacy, the Spiritual Warrior of Oz, Ooh. Abigail, the Spiritual Warrior of Oz. Have you, have you added of Oz onto your username or was that always there? Let's say, I'm so excited. Hello from Oz. Hello. Abigail, Tracy, wonderful. Thank you all for coming along on a Sunday afternoon um, to do tofu. To, to. That sounds quite wrong. Um, I don't know whether we're going to have to tilt this here lid yeah. down a bit. Well, we'll just tilt the camera down a bit. So that we can um, fork and see. Hi, Tom. Tom Henning's in the house. Mr. Atlanta. Loving the emojis. Barbara, can, yeah, can everybody, um, is the volume all right? Can you hear us all right? Can you hear us clear? Are we clear? Are we projecting? Lisa, I used to be rubbish at tofu too. Exactly that. I used to be rubbish at tofu. And then now that I've learned how to use it and what to make it into, I'm like, I can do. Barbara's giving us a thumbs up. I'm assuming that's for the uh, the sound, the audio. Oh, uh, Angie, loud and clear. And Brilliant. Vanda says, yes, sounds good. Brilliant. Thank you for the feedback that always reassures us. Yeah, if anybody's uh, chat freezes, just refresh and it should come back. Uh, lovely. Denise just had a bit of a problem there, but hopefully that's sorted now. I'm going to say hi to Anne on Facebook, who's, uh, who's watching as well. Yes, Facebook. Sorry, but we've got the... We're using a phone to stream on Facebook, so we've got the camera face this way, so we can't see the chat on it. But if you want to chat to us, come over to YouTube and chat, because that's where we read all, because 
were streaming on the laptop. I will check now and again behind the uh, behind the old phone, just the old S9, just to see if there's out going on. Thank you, Michael. Angela, I'm making tofu kedgeri with sun-dried tomatoes and bacon later. Oh, marvellous. Nice. Sounds very, very <laughs> lovely. Christy, yesterday I learned how to make tofu with Kathy Hester. Today I can learn more ways to use it. Amazing. And Morgan, good morning from Canada. I had maple Dijon baked tofu for dinner last night. Ooh, nice. We've got Australia in the house, the UK, obviously. We've got Canada. Anybody else from anywhere else in the world? I'm always fascinated to see where people are, uh, are hailing from. Oh, Korean Thai uh, fried tofu last night, Abigail. I'm actually hungry. Well, we've, Nothing not, new. we've not really had any lunch, have we? Kat, thank you. Bless you, Kat. Thank you so much. Always appreciated. ASMR pillow. Afternoon, lads. Afternoon. Well, if it's not Pee Wee Baggins, <laughs> our very own special artist, uh, as you'll note in our uh, book and on our merch pages, uh, Pee Wee Baggins is listed as the artist that did our fabulous cartoon faces and also uh, uh, the Vegan Queen's cartoon faces. She's available for work, um, so give her a shout. Mm. Pee Wee Baggins on Instagram. P E W W E. Baggins, so Pewee Baggins. Yes, yes, yeah. Pewee Baggins. Yeah. Oh, her name's right yeah. there, isn't it? It's right there, of course. <clears throat> very, very talented. Lovely, lovely lady. Um, we've got uh, Cat for Switzerland. Arecus, I can never pronounce it. Arecus Sandora, Greece. So Australia, Canada, UK, Greece, Switzerland. That's amazing. How amazing is that? How amazing to be connected with Chen somebody. Levy, Abu Dhabi. Oh, wow. Oh, it's Lisbon, Portugal. Oh. Paolo. Oh, of course, Paolo. Vegan capital of the Western world, quite possibly, although I'm sure there'd be arguments about that. But Lisbon, I've heard, is definitely a place we need to visit. We've said we, we definitely want to go to uh, Lisbon, don't we? Yes. So far. Uh, Essence of the Celts from America. Yes, of course. Oh, we're coming to America. It's an international. On the boats and on the planes. Imran's in the house. Hey, you guys. They're coming to America. Just call me Alexandra. Oh. Thank you. I will try and remember that. That's a lot easier. Christmas right. in Scotland. Shall we get to it? Shall we Shall we do some tofu? Well, you're all here. It's called tackling tofu, isn't it? I won't be tackling tofu. I'll be observing Paul tackling the tofu, as many of you, if not all of you, know. Uh, Leanne. Oh, you've not even asked her. I haven't. Leanne, I've just made you a moderator. No pressure. You don't have to do anything with it. It's just I know Hedge is uh, uh, on her own today. Bobby's not here today. And um, Kelly will be here at some point. But she's tits deep in decorating at home <laughs> at the moment. And it looks like a bonsai. She's got to deal with that first. Stacey says, Lisbon is beautiful. Went last year and stuffed my face with vegan food. No, Leanne. Thank you for accepting. <laughs> Denise, Greater Manchester is just fine and lovely and exotic. Uh, right. Ramadevi and Anna. Just saying Ramadevi, Ramadevi and uh, on Facebook. So saying a quick hello as well. Okay, yes. I'll, yes, go for it. Um, right. Now, let's start at the very beginning. A very good place to start. When you sing, you begin with do re mi. When you count, you begin with one, two, three, one, two, three. For anyone who's just joined us, this is Tackling Tofu with the vegan guys. Those vegan guys, even. Now, this tofu is a tofu that we get from our local Chinese supermarket, Wing Yip. Now... If you just grab us one of them out the uh, fridge, Jason. One of the packs that's over there, on the right hand side. Oh, uh, oh, here the packs of tofu. Just so I can show. Now this isn't the same brand. 
This brand here is Tofu King. This was a new brand I bought there very recently. But again, it's only £1.30 and it's 600 grams of product. And that one's used by the 5th of the 10th, so I haven't had to use it today. This is all used by tomorrow. Yeah. Good shelf life. Very good shelf yeah. life. Now, so let's start with some simple tricks with tofu. Can you grab me the tofu press out while you're there, Jess? I remember what I did. Remember, I recognise what I did this time. Last time I spilled. This is our uh, Tofuture tofu press, and I would not be without it now. It makes an absolute world of difference. Of course, we've got it affiliate linked from Amazon in the in our Amazon affiliate store and it has an individual link in the description of every video we do. Guys, it's brilliant. It's just a brilliant piece of kit. Now, you can use pans and plates and towels and, you know, weights and do it that way. And, it, and that's great. Yeah. But the convenience of having one of these... It's just brilliant because you whack it in there, you whack it in the fridge for 15, 20 minutes and you've got your pressed tofu. Now, so here's your first trick. If you buy firm tofu, which is what this one is, this is firm tofu from Wingip, and you press it and then you freeze it and then throw it out again, obviously, when you want to use it, it completely changes the texture. It goes much more meaty. It can be made like a chicken kind of chew from, from that process. Press, freeze, thaw. This is pressed from the packet. And it's what we're going to be using today to make... Um, shall I start with... Yeah, I'll start with the crispy baked... Tofu, although that's it's, it's so that it can be marinating while I then do scrambled tofu. Mm. Okay, so I'm going to get my little board and a piece of my pressed tofu and I'm going to cut it into pieces. The eagle eyed, by the way, just completely off topic for a second. The eagle eyed were amongst the community. Uh, today will have noticed that we uh, chopped each other's hair yesterday. We did here in this very kitchen, but we're desperate, so we're all uh, yeah, we're all polished up and scrubbed up nice. Uh, do you want to bring the lid down just a smirch for now? Yes. Yeah. Uh, hang on a second. There we go. So for crispy baked tofu. I mean, I like quite sizable pieces, so that would be an ideal size cube for me for crispy baked tofu. So here's a bowl. I'm going to put these pieces as I cut them in there. Whilst you're cutting them, are you able to answer a question? Of course. Um, Lisa has asked, do you press it again after thawing? I don't think so, Lisa, but that would again add to the really firm texture. <laughs> Most of the love of music. Yes, do. That's kind of what we're all here for today because, you know, a couple of years into our vegan journey, it really was a revelation. Um, and we are just literally today sharing what we've learned uh, over the last few years in terms of just great ways to use this incredibly versatile product. <laughs> Pee-wee Baggins, my brain is ready for this knowledge game. <laughs> I love that. Darren Kelly in the house. Right, so I've got my tofu squares in there. And what I'm going to do now is add the marinade. Now, you can basically add, guys, whatever you want. I'm adding a tablespoon of extra virgin olive oil and that will help it crisp up. I've heard that you can use aquafaba as well. So if you're against the oil, maybe you can use aquafaba. Just one tablespoon will be enough. Hi to Barbara from New Orleans. A 
tablespoon of, I'm using the mushroom flavoured soy sauce we get from Wing Yip. Mmm, gorgeous. And I'm just going to pop a squirt of liquid aminos. Have we used the um, the shelf stable tofu yet? And a squirt of liquid smoke. All important stuff. Yeah, have we used it yet? What well, that um, that silken tofu that we got, the shelf stable stuff that's last ages. We yeah. have scrambled it with it. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. You did scrambled tofu with it, didn't you? Yeah. yeah. No, just someone was asking. That's all. And it was it. It's the perfect tofu. The scrambled tofu. Right, you can lift that back up again now, Jeff. Yeah. Now, you don't want a lot of um, liquid in this, but you do want every piece to start soaking up the liquid you've got in there. So we're just going to leave this now on the side <clears throat> for about 10 minutes, 10, 15 minutes. Let every piece get... Um, get coated in this and then we'll do the final step before we get it in the oven but the thing about this marinade guys is you can you could use you could use a tomato puree with a bit of oil and with some other kind of liquid flavors it's whatever you put in there now will become the flavor where do we get our liquid smoke and aminos from? Amazon. Amazon. Or um, uh, sometimes Holland and Barrett. Now, even simpler, or in fact, first, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to do, uh, oh, we might need to bring this down again. Yeah. I'll do that. It might actually be a bit easier than moving the camera itself. Yeah, that's better. I can still see the chat. Ashleen's in the house. You have hardly missed a thing, Ashleen. We've literally just started after the uh, initial chat and just testing sound, making sure everything's okay. Now, I used to be a massive fried egg lover. Just so you know. I'll have to be honest with my friends. I'm not going to lie to you. I used to like an egg. As cruel as they are, I ate some. I run away, you see. Then I found out how horrible it was. <laughs> Doesn't mean I don't like the flavour, though. So, here's the trick. Slabs. Little thin slabs like this of tofu. It's a tofu slab, don't you know? Well, I'm going to do two things in one here. These are both um, egg alternatives. So there's what's going to be my fried egg. In fact, if I switch it that way, you can still see yeah, it. Yeah, nice. And if I get this bowl here, this one is going to be scrambled tofu. Now, if you were doing it with a packet of that stuff from Aldi, straight out the packet, no pressing. It doesn't need pressing. It's too liquid to press even. I'm just going to crumble this tofu into egg-like, as if it was scrambled egg. That's what we're looking for here. Yes, thank you, Leanne. That's a very, very good point. What? <laughs> uh, Leanne said, 93 watching and only 54 likes. Go and click, please, peeps. Yes, that would be lovely. Oh, Judith, uh, what flavour does the liquid aminos have? Um... It's a good question. It's kind of like, it's kind of like soy sauce, but if you've ever had Maggi seasoning, it's it's kind of like soy sauce dash Maggi seasoning. It's a very strong, rich umami flavour. I was just laughing at Star Cradle's comment as well. Um, Hi, all was delayed due to prepping and baking. Those vegan guys' recipe for crustless quiches. It's only 8.15 a.m. here at the moment. The craving was strong. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for joining us, Star Cradle. And you've hardly missed a thing. 
Right, just grab out. Thank you, Imran. Yes, give us a like, pop out the comments for a second. Give us a thumbs up, it really does help um, get the down to earth veganism message out there. Um, people find us th through our YouTube lives almost every time we go live. Uh, new people discover us, so the thumbs up really does help um, to grow this channel because we are on our way up to 7,000 subscribers now. We're heading, we're on our way to 7k, which is pretty amazing. So, thank you, everyone. Okay, so there's my crumbled tofu, crumbly, literally just crumbled tofu. And now, what I'm going to do is with both of these. First, let's do the fried egg. So a little sprinkling of turmeric and a little sprinkling of black salt, also known as Kala Namak. I can never pronounce Kala it. Kala Namak. Angela says, my local Korean supermarket has lots of interesting tofu, including a marinated one. Really tasty. Nice. I think it's handy, isn't it? It's convenient sometimes when you can get your tofu that's kind of pre-marinated. But... Well, we had that um, that tofu. Do you remember our Sainsbury's vlog? We got that um, tofu. You know the tofu company, TOF, double O? We got their crispy mm. tofu. We had it the other night for supper, didn't we? Yeah. For a supper snack. It was good. Done in the air fryer. Uh, so, as you can see, I am merely rubbing the black salt and the turmeric into my pressed tofu on both sides. Some might even describe it as lightly massaging. <laughs> hmm. Uh, essence of the Celts, uh, Carla Manak. What is that, Paul? But it's salt, isn't it? Carla Manak is a. Uh, 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 a salt that is very rich in, uh, is it iodine? Sulf sulfur. Yeah, is that, do they call it iodized? It's um, volcanic, basically. So it's got a lot of sulfur in it. When you smell it, it's horrible. It smells like terrible eggy fat. It's horrible. Um, it's not a nice smell, but used in moderation. Um, have you, you know, um, those that are, that are joining us who know our channel well, have you heard me speaking like I know what I'm talking about? Um, yeah, but no, with, in all seriousness, used in moderation, it really does elevate um, tofu, particularly when you are specifically going for that uh, eggy Right, taste. that's the fried egg done, which I'll fry in a second, and then the scrambled egg, same again, a really good pinch of Kala Namak everywhere, a good shake of turmeric, white pepper and nooch. Lisa's scared of black salt too. It doesn't smell like food. <laughs> it's a fair point. Alternative media, ah yes, sulfur hydroxide smells like rotten eggs. Yes, there we go. Bit of science behind it all today. Bit of science as well. So I'm basically mixing everything, just with my fingers, the black salt, the turmeric, the white pepper and the nooch into the crumbled tofu. Lovely, lovely. Thank you for that top tip, Leanne. What? When making vegan cake, add a dash of two turmeric to give it a yellow tint, stops it looking so grey. Ah. And Leanne is rather the cake expert, it has to be said. You can lift that back up now, Cockle. I'm going to go like that. Um, maybe a little bit more. There we go. That's better. I can see everything now. Right. You're going to be all right there for a minute on your own. Oh, I don't know. <sighs> hmm. The spiritual warrior of Oz. Go, Chef Paul. Love learning on your channel. Where did you buy black salt, please? I uh, bought it from... Uh, oh, actually... What you... No, yeah, I did get... I got this batch from Amazon. Uh, I'm trying to be more... I'm trying to be more conscientious. If I have to buy things in plastic, I would rather it be a large amount. Example... I just bought these crushed red chilies 
because I kept buying those little glass bottles of crushed chilies from the supermarket. I just said to Jason, I might as well just get a massive bag and keep filling up that pot. So, it's bigger than my head. I did the same with Carla, Carla Namak. Um, I bought a pack like this. I know this is turmeric, but I bought packs like this of the black salt and then just put it into my own jar. Right, a little bit of oil in my frying pan. This is for my egg, my fried egg. Oh. Put the chilli baby away. <clears throat> and literally... You fry these and it gives you that impression of a fried egg butter because you even get crispy edges. Unfortunately, I don't think the wire on the camera is long enough. Give that another stir around. See, there's hardly any liquid in there now and that's ready for the next step, which mm. is corn flour. Now, I've heard that you can use just flour, but that's what gives it the crispy edge. So now it's all marinated. The next step will be to coat it in corn flour and then get it in the oven. Nice. Very nice. Yes, Abigail, um, just talking about the recycling thing. I think it's just one of them, isn't it? It's like if you're conscious and you're kind of switched on to it, every now and again, there, there are options that you come across that will improve your day-to-day -day living in terms of that. This is now going in the frying pan. For us personally, no oil, but a bit of margarine and a bit of milk, plant milk. I think Paolo mentioned that earlier. Yeah. Wow. Uh, about using uh, coconut milk or plant milk. Yes. Uh, so ASMR asks an interesting question. ASMR pillow. Um, this is more a bit of a a bit of a tofu special, really. So whereas there are Sunday cooking sessions with us when we're live, where it'll actually be a meal. Um, this is not going to be a meal. This is just um, different options in terms of using tofu. So. Hope that answers your question. It's, uh, yeah. Said, will, what will this meal be apart from alternative eggs? <laughs> yeah, it's not, it's not a meal. It's not a, a well-rounded plate uh, by any means. That vegan chick, I couldn't use that amount of chilies in a lifetime. They'll last us a while, to be fair. They will last us a while. Yeah, I agree, Tom. I agree. We sell, uh, they, they sell a similar kind of thing at Wing Yip as well, um, uh, you know, uh, Chinese superstore. Um, for bulk is great, that kind of stuff. So it's partly, I suppose, it's just thinking about, like, what do we use a lot of in large quantities? Uh, so things like chilli and garlic uh, are definitely two big ones that always always come up. And I would imagine it's probably the same for a lot of, uh, a lot of you, you, you guys out there as well. Whoa. There is the uh, fried tofu egg. Now, honestly, guys, this on bread and butter, outstanding. Mm. <laughs> Angie says for us it's pasta. Of course, pasta in bulk. Absolutely amazing. Rice, chickpeas. <laughs> Mr. Atlanta. Alternative eggs? I think I saw them live at a music festival. <laughs> yeah, this stuff is amazing. This is amazing. Fried egg butty, as we say up north. Up in these northern parts, fried egg, fried egg butty. Yeah, I think I think we're going to. I think we're going to very soon. What? Uh, Denise saying, I could eat that. And Star Cradle, delighted to see those wonderful trousers again, Paul. Love them. 
I know, aren't they nice? They're um, they're, they're ever so comfortable. My band look big in these. <laughs> Anita says, as a fellow northerner, I agree. Yes. Right, guys. <laughs> Scrambled tofu is done. Now, you can add a bit more margarine to this if you feel you want to. You See, that's how I always made it as a kid. Um, or you could add a bit more milk to it to make it wetter. I'm going to use part of this to turn into egg mayo for sandwiches. So I would like to, uh, I need to take a bit out and let it cool down. Separate it off from the pan. Thank you, Darren. Oh, bless you, Darren. Thank you so much. Really appreciate the super chat. Um, a slightly off-topic question, um, but from Tofu, but what is your favourite seitan recipe and how is best to make it? Thank you. Well. It's a whole new world of late, isn't it? You're going to all hate me when I say this now. I've only, I've only made it once. Seitan. Here, love. Thank you. Yeah, so we're not exposed. What you're saying is we're not experts. Well, I've made it once and it was great. Linda's going to be so jealous. As a fellow Oldermat, I, I agree. Can't beat a bloody good butty. <laughs> mm. That's a butty for me. Brown sauce on it. Yeah. Oh, fried egg butty. No cruelty involved. Popped York fried egg butty. Amazing. <laughs> I'm just laughing at Bev. Muddy paws. Soon. I've got to do the unboxing video first of it. I'll do that this week. Because we're getting into winter now. Doing the soups and stews in that is going to be amazing. And I know that already. But I need to do a little unboxing video so that if anyone else gets one, they know what they're getting. Mm. Yeah, Bev. I'll publish my satanic balls if you want the recipe. Yes, Bev is a gold mine of recipes. Mm -hmm. In fact, Bev is the reason that in our group on Facebook, that vegan group, Vegan Foods and Friendships, I've added a topic, recipes, so that she can mark all her posts <laughs> with recipes in our recipes, so then people can just click it and... I was going to get it off. All the recipes will come up. Popped York fried egg butty. No different. No different, though. Mm. Catherine. Except it won't give Jason heartburn and no chicks have been destroyed. Mm. We haven't stolen anything. Catherine's asked a very, uh, a very interesting question, which will also allow us to very conveniently prompt the amazing and awesome ebook that you wrote. What? Which is, would it be possible to have these recipes written up? It all looks delicious. Really enjoying this kitchen life. Yeah, they're in. Put a free book together called Down to Earth Vegan. You can download it from our website, thoseveganguys.com. Or you can download it from our group on Facebook, That Vegan Group. It's in both places. Full PDF, completely free. Everything's in there. Loads of really easy, basic recipes to help you get started. Although people say that, and it's like, we're seven years vegan and I'm still eating the same things. Do you know what I mean? Not everybody journeys on to become health food plant-based full-time. Yeah. Incorporating that into your diet is amazing. But we like our junk food. We like our pizzas and our pies and our sausages. And You know what I mean? And food is about enjoyment as much as nutrition. Yeah. So 
Moderation. Moderation. <laughs> Gorgeous. Gorgeous. Yeah, you have stuff, stuffed my face well and truly. <laughs> Lisa says, and this is why I watch with a snack. <laughs> Smart move, Lisa. I would do exactly the same. How does that taste to you, Jason? It's oh, it tastes amazing. Yeah, I mean, I'm kind of a bit blasé about it now because, I, you know, it's sort of matter of fact. Um, but if I actually just pause for thought for a second and realise and think about what I'm eating, um, it's it's unbelievable, isn't it? It really is. Does it remind you of fried egg? Yeah, big Hot time. Fried egg. Yeah, 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 big time. Yeah. Both te taste and texture. Because mm -hmm. texturally, that's quite a tricky thing as well. Um but yeah, bang on. Sometimes I'm, I'm like, am I just telling myself this? Do you know what I mean? Excuse me. We used to have, um, pre-vegan, we used to have egg and crisp butties, didn't we? So it's that that kind of thing, you know. Right. Crispy bait. Yeah, essence of the Celts. Yeah, we probably would, to be honest. We probably would add other, other stuff if it weren't we weren't kind of in this live situation. We wanted to just quickly stuff our faces and move on. Um, but yeah, bit of tomato on there. You did whatever floats your boat, really. Mm. I think. Oh, Bev, thank you so much for the super chat. Mm. Here's a bottle of vino to go with your scram. Much love to all the stream. Thank you to lovely guys for all your graft. Thanks to the community. Oh, you're a love. Bless yeah, you. That's just it. Thanks to us all. We're a great community here, and I love that. Oh, Goji Man's in the house. All right, Treacles. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you for joining us, Goji Man. And I hope that all is merry and well where you are. Good, sir. And anybody who wants expert nutrition uh, knowledge and advice, if you aren't, don't already know and are not already subscribed... Pop over to Goji Man's channel um, and check out his awesome content. Cornflower, do you want to just turn it down a sec? Yes, yes. Is that okay? Yeah, and can you lift this bowl up? So, because it'd be nice for folk to be able to see. If you just lift that up. I basically put some cornflour in my sieve. And I'm just doing that because I want a very light coating on all the pieces. And this is what goes crisp. Crispy. You don't have to dick about doing this. You can just whack it in there with your hand. You know what I mean? Like a normal human. <laughs> you know it, Imran. You know it. So glad we've eaten first before settling down to watch li watch this. Alternative media. It's like icing brownies. Kind of is. Yeah. Right. Give that a good whack around now. Try and make sure every piece has got corn flour on both sides. That's why I said it. I'll probably just add a bit more just by doing that. Say a quick hi to Andrea and Anna on Facebook. Andrea is um, living her best life because of our accents. It's the first time she's caught us live. <laughs> the first time she's heard us. Oh, so, where's she from? Um, I'm guessing, she, I think she said Staley Bridge, or that neck of the woods. Well, well your accent's not that different, you daft girl. No, hey. I've heard you speak, it's making me miss home, Staley Bridge. Ah, I So see. Andrea must be uh, living in another part of the country, or the world even now. Um, so just, just to very quickly parrot what oh. Paul said at the start... Um, we are live streaming on Facebook and YouTube, um, but with Facebook, we're using the old my old S9, so we can't see the comments, uh, so I do apologise, but I do keep checking, and thank you to those on Facebook for joining us, as well as all the amazing 103 people on YouTube uh, that are here as well, and Felicia, thank you so much for the super chat, massively appreciated. Hey guys, late to the party, but watching and learning a thing or two. Thanks. Hope everyone is keeping well. Bless you, Felicia. Thank you. Right. Dead simple now. I'm just spacing it out on a baking tray. It's nice, nice to make sure each piece has got plenty of room. I'm going to, I'm going to do this. 
so that people on Facebook can say hello to people on YouTube and people on YouTube can say hello to people on Facebook. Hey! <laughs> As if by magic. This smells lovely. I'm glad I added that. Um, I don't normally add liquid smoke. But today I just thought, oh, go on, push the boat out, Beryl. As you do. As you do. Make this easier for you, Andy Jess, and buy soap and things as we go. Actually, it's really easy. If you rinse the bowl out straight away, dead easy. <laughs> Uh, uh. Random question. You put it back up now. Yeah. Right, this is going in the oven, which is preheated 200 until it's crispy. I'll go and uh, I'll go and turn them over uh, at some point. So hopefully that's Helen's question answered because Helen said, "Do you put that in a stir fry? In a stir a stir fry?" No, I would make the pieces much smaller if I was doing it in a stir fry. Probably half that size, would you say? Uh, maybe even a quarter. Maybe like I'd cut each <laughs> most of these into into four. I'm just making sure that this. <laughs> Lisa says, "I did this, baked it, and you could crack your teeth on it." <laughs> Is that a good thing? Right, that's going in the oven. Clean the end. I don't know whether Goji is speaking to us or somebody else who in the comments. I have some pots here if you fancy it. I don't know whether that relates to something we've said or mentioned or something somebody else in the comments. So if I've missed something, I apologise. I just well, no, I was gonna just All right. have a little taste. I'm with you, I'm with you. Mm. Lovely. Mm. So we've done scrambled tofu, fried egg tofu, scrambled egg tofu. Now all we need to do, well, we need to wait for the crispy baked tofu to come out of the... Um, out of the air fry, uh, out of the oven. Out of the oven. Yeah. Christy says, uh, Christy0131, how long and at what temperature would you cook these in the air fryer if they're going in the air fryer? Well, we've done it in the air fryer. It was on a, it's on one of our recent videos. I can't remember which one, but we did a uh, quick... Oh, no, it was one of the... It was a dedicated video, air fryer, crispy baked tofu. Yeah. I can't remember. I think it was 20 minutes. Sounds about total. right. Yeah, it's really good. Isn't that the great thing about the air fryer though? Is that you can kind of just you can kind of check very easily. Empty bowl. Some of the tofu scramble that I left aside to cool down a bit. This is my other tofu that I had put aside. Oh, <laughs> managed. Yeah. I just want about that much. Imran and Leanne have had the Vivera Garlic Kievs with air fried coated chips, peas and garlic bread. We tasted it. It's the future. <laughs> now I'm crumbling some plain tofu into the cooled scrambled tofu. So just to clarify, what are you making now? Tough egg salad. Tough egg salad. Egg mayo. Abigail says you'll both be all tofu'd out by the end of this stream. <laughs> <laughs> Possibly. Possibly. So this hasn't been cooked. This has just been pressed. Pressed and roy. And I'm mixing it in with that one so that you get some yellow and some white and they'll both be different textures because one is marinated and cooked and one is raw. 
So Lisa says, does anyone know what you do with it when you want to add it to a noodle bowl? What, tofu? I suppose there's a few options, really. We've had it a few different ways, haven't we? Did you hear what I said at the beginning, Lisa, about press, freeze, thaw, and that firms up the texture? I just crum We've just crumbled it into noodle dishes while we've been cooking the noodle dishes. Yeah, it's gorgeous. Um, I suppose it depends as well how important the texture is to you. So if it was a soupy noodle dish, you'd probably put it on right at the very last minute, wouldn't you, to retain the crispiness? Yeah. I'm, 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 I'm just looking at Paul because I'm kind of asking Paul as I'm saying it. Sorry, love. And JJ Star says, do you put a little turmeric in for colour? And flake in the noodles or fry it, then put it in. Yes, 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 yes. All of that. Simply some mayo. Bit of mayo. Back in the fridge. Now, you can add whatever you want to this. Obviously, because it'd be your tough egg salad. Uh, you could add chopped spring onion. You could add chopped celery. Um, you could add cucumber. You could add peppers. You could add uh, white onion. You could add whatever you wanted to make it your style. Of egg mayo. Yeah. For me now, all that that needs is black pepper. Ah. <laughs> yeah, mega calories. What? Leanne, Hellman's vegan mayo is the best I've tasted. Uh, mega calories, though. Yes. We want to put a smirch in. Smirch. It's a smirch. Fabulous. Egg mayo. Ready for sandwiches. Leave it to cook cold in the fridge. Add whatever you want to it. Crunch wise. If you want some crunch to it. Or if you're anything like me. Just that on a piece of bread. Yeah. Oh, straight into your gob. I would say always better when it's been in the fridge for a bit. All right, and now we're in the... It's gorgeous. It's absolutely stunning. Mm. It's gorgeous. I know. I know. But I'm, I'm, I'm me, I know. A couple of hours in the fridge just takes it up to a whole other level. Oh, should I put that in the fridge? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. And then I've got to work out what I'm doing with this last bit of pressed. Mm. Oops, sorry, I just kicked to the table. We've got 127 people in the house. I'll just leave that in there. On, the on the tube of you, the YouTube, which is awesome. So, ah, oh, Melts is watching on Facebook. Stuart's watching on Facebook. Danny Stewart. I'm going to give you all a wave from this old S9. <laughs> Thank you for joining us. Let's get that back in the fridge. We're tofu, elbow deep in tofu we are. So we've already done three amazing things. We've done fried egg tofu, scrambled egg tofu, tofu egg salad... And crispy baked is in the oven, and I'll turn each piece over shortly so it gets proper crispy, and then we can show you that as well. Uh, but if anybody's got any tofu-related questions, another thing you can do, by the way, and this is better with soft tofu. Again, some those packs from Aldi would be awesome for it. Just whack it in a blender, and then to taste, add lemon juice. Dijon mustard, salt, make your own um, mayonnaise. We've done it and it's fabulous. I only get the jarred stuff now when it's on the offer or I need a jar. Jason told me I have to stop collecting jars now. Can uh, I show them why? Just because it'll take literally a second. But it's not, no, because they, it's not fair. The, our, our olive jars emptied at the same time. So because the biggie's like, look, we've got loads of jars over there. Gherkin jar. Two empty jars of jam. 
that we use for glasses to drink, but we've already got six. They're all storage now. This is all storage. And HC has come over from Facebook to join us on YouTube. This was the lady who was talking about the accent. Ah, found you, found you on YouTube now. I'm from Staley Bridge, but now living in South Shields. Ah. It's just so lovely to hear you speak. Really missing home today. Give us a subscription. We post almost every day. <laughs> well, <laughs> minimum three times a week. We're still working out our schedule at the moment. To be yeah, fair. I've just started doing my kitchen vlogs again, though. Yes. They, you know, I miss doing them. Thank you, Essence of the Celts. Thank you um, for that little reminder to people. I mean, if you were here uh, and you've mysteriously, miraculously discovered us for the first time today, or you're watching and you've seen a few of our lives and you've been like, I'm not sure about these guys, I'm going to wait and see, give us a thumbs up, give us a subscribe and help us spread our down-to-earth veganism to the masses. It would be greatly appreciated. Now, this crispy baked tofu, by the way, goes incredibly well with uh, steamed rice and uh, broccoli with sesame seeds on. It's just the perfect little meal. We've had that uh, quite a few times, haven't yeah. we? I should probably turn this over, actually. Yes. I'll just check it. Yeah, Sarah, I think, you know, and a few people have mentioned it, when you just literally get to the point where you're running out of space... Um, because you've got a cupboard full of jars. Um, you can only justify keeping so many, I think, in terms of your uh, your dry stocks. <laughs> Abigail says, sesame seeds and spring onions are top-tier garnish. Top-tier garnish. And HC, thank you for the sub. It, uh, it means a lot. And we are always really appreciative uh, of the nice, steady, but consistent growth that the channel has had over the last uh, the last six to 12 months, really, which is amazing. Shalina Patel is in the house. Hey, my lovelies. Thank you for joining us. Oh, let's show everyone these. What are we showing them? Oh, yeah, freak carrots. We picked this today. From our backyard tub of carrots. Look at it. Look at it. Look. It's like a weird beastie. Multi-limbed. How cute. <laughs> Fabulous. Yeah, we were talking before and saying... Um, how much mutant veg must just get discarded. Although I know that a lot of supermarkets now are starting to sort of recognize the food waste thing. So you're getting like, um, you know, buy these knobbly carrots, buy these disoriented tomatoes. Disoriented tomatoes. <laughs> yeah. Um, which is good because why should perfectly edible, fabulous vegetables and fruit be thrown away just because they don't fit? a supermarket measurement tool in terms of what is visually appealing. Shouldn't happen. There. Said me piece. You were quite, um, you were quite serious then, weren't you? Pee Wee says that's for the witches, bro. That carrot. <laughs> She's right. Lindsay, uh, baked tofu would like to mix lime juice and coriander through the rice and top with black sesame seeds and spring onion. Oh, yeah. that sounds delicious, Lindsay. Absolutely delicious. Lime juice and coriander, perfect. Yes, um, Star Cradle has uh, mentioned, will there be a part three of your Seneca readings, Paul? Yes, yes. I'm so sorry about that. I kind of got, I, I, I got drifted off, didn't I? Um, yeah, it's going to be a long one as well because I'm going to finish off that segment um, in one video, <clears throat> that's what I'll do this week. Seneca. Might, yeah, it might end up being an hour. What would you say? Is the part three going to be the, the last part or will it be a part three, part four? I think I'll make the part three the last part. Cool. The others have been around 20 minutes, 30 minutes, and I've got like seven to ten pages done in that time. Mm -hmm. I'm an expressive reader. I don't just like to just read it out. I'm, I, I have commentary. Ah, uh, okay. On it. Okay, yeah. While I'm reading it. Essence of the Celts, Jason. Thanks for the question, Star Cradle. 
Paul, uh, what type of uh, herbs would you and Paul add to these tofu recipes, trying to learn more about herbs in cooking? It depends what your marinade is, I suppose, as well, because it's got to be complimentary, hasn't it? Yeah. Well, no, I mean, no? Your, 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 your marinade could be anything. You could do a tomato and chipotle marinade and make, make it a Mexican uh, crispy baked tofu. You could make a, a madras and garlic sauce and make it an Indian crispy baked tofu. Yeah, so your herbs would be reflective of the style you was going for. Yeah, I mean, that's that's the kind of wonderful things about herbs and spices we're kind of showing you the basics here uh and uh yeah it's because it, it's all about your personal taste we like quite strong we like soy flavors we like strong umami flavors which is why the marinade for the crispy baked tofu was as it was you know liquid aminos liquid smoke mushroom flavored soy sauce and a little bit of oil mm -hmm. yeah 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 uh, Abigail asks an interesting question, um, and we are, of course, not experts by any means, but we have learned an awful lot over the last few months uh, from trial and error and also from the fabulous Hedge Rider who's been guiding us like a guiding light star. Yes, I, I can't recommend highly enough that you uh, subscribe to Brain Girl, all one word, and just go on her channel and search Garden. Mm. And all her gardening videos will come up. She's done a load on running punks as well. She's been on quite the mission just lately. Oh, yes, indeed. Um, um, but, yeah, it's difficult. This time of year now, um, we start no, there is still got stuff you can grow. What's, oh, that, yeah, yeah. what's that lady called on YouTube, Liz? I can't remember her name. I know exactly who you mean, but I can't By the farm. By the farm. As in, by the, all one word, B-Y-T-H-E. By the farm, Liz. She's She does, like, a video... Her, a, a vlog every month to say here's what you can sow now yeah yeah definitely potatoes if you've got the space and um and le some leafy stuff but like i say i'm not uh, not an expert but yeah she's brilliant lauren uh brain girl excellent loads of advice and information uh cycling with ross is in the house thank you for joining us ross awesome stuff I love wonky fruit and veg. Tastes better, in my opinion. It's been yes. here for a while, Jason. Oh, sorry. I've only just noticed you. Back off, sorry, Paul. Ross. Jazz, I have a zombie apocalypse. So, <laughs> grateful if the time comes. Yes. <laughs> Leave me alone in my jazz. Thank you, Bev. Thank you very much. Thanks, that is greatly appreciated. Uh, you know what? You know what it boils down to? Let's just, let's just be honest. It's a Sunday afternoon. The sun's shining. Um, you know, there's all kinds of terrible things going on, but... When you just start running out of space, clothes and oh, pots. Uh, yes, I, I, I assume everybody knows, but Hedge Rider is Brain Girl. Brain Girl's channel is separate to her Hedge Rider account. Um, so check out the Brain Girl channel. Yes. Please do. And Angerad's yeah. Life channel as well. Uh, Angerad's doing some fabulous recipes at the moment. Flapjack, tofu bacon... Uh, mushroom tofu and mushroom burgers. He winced at, and I was like, "Ooh, I fancy those." Um, so do check out her channel, especially if you've got youngsters in your family. A nice, safe, child-friendly vegan channel with great food and a gorgeous rabbit. Yeah, because although we're quite universal, I wouldn't describe us as child-friendly. You never know what's going to come out with us. Uh, most of the love of music. Thank you so much for the super chat. Uh, I might actually do a tackling tempeh uh, video, actually, because with um, even though there's one already on the channel about there's two in fact on the channel about the top the tempeh bacon I make occasionally, tempeh bacon is gorgeous, like really really nice if you get it right, so good and reasonably easy to do. Mm -hmm. uh, we don't use tempeh for that much more really, and a lot of people use it in stir fries. Yeah. And, and stuff but i think you can use it very much in the same way that you use tofu you can marinate it stir fry it bake it yeah you know you did the tempeh crispy bacon like you say and that was awesome it, that's gorgeous but yeah um, but um seatan uh i need to get onto that again because i've made it once and it was all right it was tasted great it was just a bit time consuming um but i should do it again on a video i will do it again on a video
don't ask me for things and then moan when I do them. <laughs> I'll do them. It's inspiration. It's um, it's it's content. It's stuff that we can um, add to the to-do list that's as long as our arm. Um, and I will say to Pee Wee Baggins' this comment, try living with a drag queen. She yeah. is a drag queen. Well. She's a drag queen dash cis woman. Well, then you know. You know the world. You know the world and, and, and all its delights when you own twice as many clothes as you actually need in life ever. Yes. And we'll say no more. There's got to be something better than this. Oh, thanks for joining us, Peaky Pickers. Thank you very much, and take care. Just another couple of minutes, and that'll be absolutely perfect. Deborah oh. is looking forward to sea tan making. I wonder if Stephen C. Tan will help you with the sea tan making, Paul. Probably not. <laughs> he doesn't strike me as being a particularly good cook. Oh. Thank Essence well. of the Celts. Thank you for your kind words as well. That's very nice of you. Thank you, Jason and Paul. Your videos are always very kind and friendly. We are kind and friendly, generally. Most of the time. Unless someone crosses us. And then it's Hulk mode. No, unless someone crosses veganism with bullshit. Well, yeah, that then, too. I don't take that lightly at all. I will not take the abuse of animals lightly at any point in my life, ever. Don't know if you can hear him back there. I hope you can. Anita said, just found by the farm. Looks good. I'll watch a few of those. I'm not a great gardener. She's fantastic, though, and she's really sort of just simplifies a lot of stuff and, you know, takes some of your concerns away. And, and from what I've seen, is kind of the same as Lauren kind of shows you that it's doable. You can do it. Eggman is... Except it's not. But it is, though. <laughs> Are we all... Oh, we all... do you know what? This needs to be on, though. What? A white finger roll. Oh. Yeah. Like at an 80s buffet. White finger roll. No egg mayo. And a bit of cress. Mm. Some cress in it. It'd be gorgeous. But it's, it's egg mayonnaise. Exactly as I used to love it. I love it when people get upset about pronunciation. <laughs> what? <laughs> to, Bev, to justify using that emoji, you must be really upset that I said Satan instead of Satan. <laughs> Stephen Satan. Mm. Whoa. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's great stuff. Simple and delicious. And this is a great thing about... Especially if you do have a Chinese supermarket around by where you live, go in and get some tofu. 600 grams for £1.30. And, you know, with one box, which is three pieces, I could do the crispy baked tofu and this. Easy. Mm. Easy. Leanne says, in a volivant. Mmm. <laughs> Girl, you're still 70s. I love that. Hey, Leanne, speaking of which, Andrew said, same. Great minds. Great minds. Valorant's in my freezer. Mm hmm Yeah. What? Um, just Anita saying that's really cheap. I think it, they were reduced, though, weren't they? What? Anita is saying really cheap for the um, the Volavon cases that Paul just showed. Oh, yeah, it was reduced. Yeah. But it says up to half price, so they would have still only been two quid, which is pretty good, really. I think they're from a Fulton's. You know Fulton's Foods? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Fulton's Foods. And HC uh, said, I went home a few weeks ago and I'm ashamed to say that I went to Wing Yips for the first time. Oh, oh my God, bought lots of tofu, so cheap and the best tasting one I've ever had. They really have got the tofu game right up there. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> crispy baked tofu. Fantastic. You have to leave that to cool for a while. 
Oh, it smells gorgeous. And the good thing about it is, of course, it's only crispy on the outside, but it's still nice and soft and tofu-y in the, in the centre. Let's just pull that down a minute so I can give people a proper look. It looks very dark. But it, there you go. Mmm. Nomskis. Oh, we have had a day full of tofu, haven't oh, we? Oh, it's a day of tofu. It's a tofu day. I don't mind it though. I was saying before we started, I adore the stuff now. Oh, and also what I was saying before about being able to make it into mayo. You could, you know, my white sauce that I used to make that I did in the lentil lasagna, and in our creamy pasta sauce that I do with hemp seeds or some plant milk. So substitute those three items for tofu. Tofu, nooch, salt and pepper. You've got a gorgeous white sauce for making a, yeah. a lasagna. Lasagna. Yes. Or a lentas, you know, whatever. Um, and you could also use it as a, just a white sauce base tofu. Like, you know, add a bit of plant milk to make it more liquid if you need to. It's very good. It's very good stuff. <laughs> Lisa says, well, mine didn't look like that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah that's a good question asmr pillow actually i mean i i i'm, I'm not 100 percent sure and i'm usually quite well up on my nutritional stuff uh nutritional content ah, ignore me about the lasagna leanne said it sets hard it doesn't work oh. so use use my stuff thank you leanne thanks leanne love because i've never tried it fountain of knowledge leanne fountain Oh, Anita said, didn't realise you can order online from Wing Yip. I didn't yeah. even know. I didn't know that. But although it stands to reason. Thank you. Shirley, you are rather late to the party, but you're here and that's the main thing. Thank you for being here. Mmm. Mmm. Yeah. That's lovely. Lovely crispy edges. Mm. Nice flavour as well. I'm glad I did that liquid smoke. That's yeah. taking it to a different place rather than Chinese mm. dominant flavourings. It's kind of... Whoa. See, I think that's the right amount of smokiness as well. Because mm -hmm. you can go overboard with the liquid smoke. You can go over the top with it. And it's, it's it's again, it's an acquired thing. It's something that, like some people, if you add too much of it, it's a bit overpowering. But that's that's gorgeous. <laughs> and HC is off to order. <laughs> brilliant. Brilliant, brilliant. Ah, oh, yeah, I'm gonna have a bit more of that if you don't mind. I'm gonna have another piece. Why would I mind? Well, you know. You live here, you good after egg. Who cooked it? Shirley went to Wing Yip in Brum. Oh loved yeah. it. Birmingham also has a Chinese quarter. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, the three main wing yip stores are Manchester, Birmingham, London. But like I'm always saying to people, if you don't live near a wing yip, if you just type, if you live in Runcorn and you type in Google, Runcorn Chinese supermarket, <laughs> you'll get a few up. Brilliant little shops you might have never known about that will have things in that will blow your mind. Yeah. Phenomenal. It's like a whole new adventure to just, you know, dive in there, experience it. Oh, it's a whole new world to you as well, Imran, now. This You've seen... Absolutely gorgeous. This seen is what... the best crispy baked tofu I've ever made. Usually I do it very chinese -y. Almost all soy sauce and a bit of white rice vinegar. Mm -hmm. And a bit of black vinegar. And even sometimes some sesame seeds before the, um, the uh, corn flour. Uh, but this is gorgeous. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Really good. Really good. Really tasty. 
And obviously, if you wanted to go to the next level in terms of crispiness, then you could also go down the breadcrumb route and explore that as mm -hmm. an option in terms of crispy baked tofu. It just It's just another step in the process, isn't it? Angela, thank you. Thank you. Thank Lord. you very much. Oh, and I'm glad you did. Thank you for liking the book. Yes. It was brought out to help, and, and so many people have told me it really has. I can't ask for anything more than that. Big time. Uh, Pee Wee were exactly the same, but we would extend it to Korean, Indonesian, um, Thai. Yeah, all of that. I know that people get upset at the use of Oriental these days, but if you walk past, if you drive past Wingip Supermarket, it says outside Wingip Oriental Supermarket. So it's yeah. like, right, who's right? <laughs> it's, I know it was it's a, a word that's not used often anymore, but because it means of the Orient. Yes, yes, you yes, know. yes. So yeah. East Asian. Uh, Darren says, I remember making this for the first time using your recipe. It's delicious. And Pee Wee Baggins also adding to that says, also Caribbean food, jackfruit is so tasty. Oh, yeah. Have you tried, uh, Charlotte, have you tried the um, pineapple and black bean shoot from Henshaw Boss Cookbook that we did as a recipe video? Girl. Tasty. So good. Proper. And it makes so much. They've got it in their book for two people. She forgets that Gemma, but then she's three people. And then there's her. So every any recipe she does is four people minimum. Um, That's true. Because we made the amount that it said in the in the book, and it was like, oh, okay. We had a massive bowl for our tea. No, yeah, we had it with rice for our tea, and then we had a massive bowl the next day for lunch. Gorgeous, just just really gorgeous, lovely whole food, plant based. Make it as spicy or as not spicy as you want. We made it quite spicy, didn't we? You've just yeah. pushed the camera down, though. It's because it went on leaned against this one. Mm -hmm. There we go. There we go. There. Excellent. Yes. Echoing uh, what Pauline has just said as well, um, which is a really good thing to mention and point out because we've done it ourselves. Um, Indian supermarkets are worth checking out too. I've had some great deals on rice, chickpeas, lentils and spices, much cheaper than mainstream. And Indian supermarkets and shops are the most likely place for you to find Cal and a Mac black salt. Yeah, the most likely place. Guaranteed every time without fail to get bunches and bunches of coriander cheaper than you're going to get anywhere else as well. Lovely yeah. fresh coriander. I, we we um, when we can get hold of it, we make a coriander pesto, uh, and it, it, not only is it a natural collation therapy, helping to rid the body of heavy heavy chemicals, uh, heavy metals. Um, coriander, delicious as a pesto. Mm. Yeah, yeah. When yeah. we make it, is we've had it on toast. We've had it in pasta. We've had it in mashed potato. It's dead versatile, and it? yeah, it's yeah. really versatile. Beautiful. I was just thinking, really beautiful. Just thinking then. Um, lovely mum and dad who watch a lot, if not all, of our lives, especially, have been trying out new vegan stuff over the last couple of months, and they're getting quite adventurous. <laughs> um, dad apparently, off his own bat, the other day just went and made pastry to help mum out because she was making an apple and summer pie, um, which is pretty awesome. But I'm wondering, and I'm going to call it out right now live on YouTube and say, is mum thinking about delving into the world of tofu? Just planting the seed. Just planting the seed. There you go. Rona, mum. It's not for you at this stage. Tofu. <laughs> no? No. <laughs> no. Do you not think? No. I don't we, know. Although they very much enjoyed the new Sainsbury's um, Kiev's. The we, Vivera. We haven't had ours yet, but they they had them. Oh, it's not the Vivera. I get the, I get the branding. I think it's Sainsbury's own. I get the labelling mixed up. It's up there. Because just behind the soy yoghurt, near the olives. Vivera. Oh, it's Vivir, right. So we haven't tried these yet, but Jay's mum and dad tried them and said they were absolutely fantastic. And uh, Leanne and Imran as well, I think, tried them uh, nice. the other night. Yeah. Amazing. And we got them some uh, This Isn't Bacon as well. 
the other day. Yes. I'm going to yeah. provide another piece of this. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, everybody. Hmm. Mm. <laughs> well, hedge. I reached level five vegan the other day. I did my mum a tarot reading and it told her to stop eating dairy. <laughs> yeah, that's like platinum vegan status right there. Excellent. Mm. Mm. Well, it looks like we're eating tofu for the rest of the day, Jason. Well, a couple of people said we were tofu'd out by the end of this stream. But, I think that, chopped in half, in a noodle bowl. Mmm. Yeah, yeah, you're wrong. Bust yeah. out the chopsticks. It's just an idea. No, it's a good idea, actually. Now we know what day three of our next uh, vegan foods vlog and kitchen vlog combined is going to be about <laughs> what we're going to be having in that meal. Oh, Darren, nice one. Bravo. Well done, dude. Are you, are you enjoying it, though, Darren? And are you finding it easy? Because I think that's a very pertinent thing. You know, how compared to how easy you thought it was going to be, how's it been? Yeah. Good question. And what's some of your favourite meals? It's always interesting, isn't it? To yeah. share share insight, especially as a, a, a relatively new vegan. Um, you know, it really helps others. That's one one thing that we've learned after all this time. Um, and one of the reasons that we keep doing what we're doing is because you never know who you're reaching and how you're helping them. And that's a brilliant thing. Awesome stuff. Yes, lots of applause. Yeah, thanks guys, went so fast, it's amazing. I found it very easy, much more relaxed than I thought it would be. Excellent. Yeah. Amazing. It's a great time to be alive though, uh, as a vegan. Um, we really have seen, certainly over the last 12 months, we've seen a revolution really, haven't we? And Asda's got this whole new two ambient aisles with a hundred new um, vegan products coming soon. So we'll be doing a shopping vlog there at the end of the month. Without a doubt. Um, yeah, Darren, just to add on, says, I've learned to cook through going vegan and enjoy food again. Yeah, it's funny, isn't it? How you, how you, uh, it's like, I, I've always loved cooking, always. But it is, it's like rediscovering food all over again when you go vegan and, and learning all these tricks and things you can do. And you're like, wow, this is amazing. Yeah. Tastes great, really good for you. No died. Yeah, without a doubt. Without a doubt. Ah, oh, I think Lisa's getting off. If I've if I've read that correctly, I've got to go cook some tea. The Mister will be home soon. Thanks for the info. Speak to you all soon. Hope it's been helpful, Lisa, and thank you so much for joining us, love. Absolutely, much appreciated. <laughs> Ashley's loving the new emojis. So, she, isn't this the time that we normally have a quick Q&A yeah, yeah. before we start Question. to wrap things up? Yeah, because we've got quite a bit of cleaning up to do now, and we've pretty much done everything we said we were going to do. We've done fried egg tofu, scrambled tofu, crispy baked tofu, and tofu egg mayonnaise for sandwiches. Amazing. Amazing. I'm going to have... No, I'm not. I'm not. I've already had... I had an extra... I'm going to have one more piece. I'm going to have one more piece, and then it's going to put to one side for later. Mm. It's very tasty though. Yeah, it's really good. Mm. Yeah. I move this. That's our dinner later on noodles. All the noodles. Um. Essence of the kelp, so true. So, so very true. Becoming vegan, I feel, has given me much more clarity, both mentally and in the way I see life around me. Nature is alive, sensitive to Mother Earth. 
That's where we all need to be now. We'd all start looking after this beautiful planet. We're going to ruin it. Ashleen, we most certainly will. She is doing lovely. Our little cat daughter, Isis, she's doing great. Um, she was sat out in the sunshine earlier on on the, uh, on the garden chair. She's been doing a bit of hunting this morning. She's having a whale of a time. And now I think she's having an afternoon nap, if I'm not mistaken. Essence of the cults, I didn't really make... Celts. Uh, Celts, I'm sorry. Uh, I didn't really make mayo, I just said how to. Uh, but it's dead simple. Soft tofu, or silken tofu, in a blender. Dijon mustard. So let's say 200 grams of tofu, a teaspoon of Dijon mustard... Maybe two teaspoons of lemon juice and a pinch of salt. Blend it, taste it, see what it needs more of. Add more as you desire. Dijon mustard, lemon juice, tofu, salt, mayo. Done. Awesome. Awesome stuff. So, yeah, um, we've been asking, answering quite a lot of questions as, as we've been going throughout the live um, for the last uh, hour or so. Um, so if there are any final questions you want to chuck our way, um, we will happily answer them before we start to wrap up this live, clean all this up and get back outside in the back garden uh, and enjoy a bit of the sunshine that's left. Muddy paws. Um, Sainsbury's have got uh, vegan coleslaw now. Vegan deli style coleslaw. Just get the box out, Chase. It's right there on the top shelf. Uh, it's on offer at the moment for a quid. Mm -hmm. Vegan deli style coleslaw. And that's what it looks like. Or oh, one twenty, something yeah, like that. I think it was a pound. Yeah, down from one fifty or one twenty to a quid. I I, I I often make me own with me own homemade mayo, but now and again when it's on offer, I'll be like, "Well, go on." Waving. Ah, that's some wave. Waving at the Facebook peeps. It's quite a few watching on Facebook, but it doesn't even compete with the 152 that are watching on YouTube right now and the 100 plus pretty much that have been with us almost the entirety. So um, once again, thank you. Those on Facebook, those on YouTube, massive thank you for uh, joining us this afternoon. Oh, nice one, Patricia. She says, best tofu recipe for an iffy tummy, steam. Slices of firm silken tofu, which is the one you can get from Aldi right now. Drizzle with a mild Asian sauce and serve over brown on, on brown rice. Nice. Sounds lovely, actually. I'd have that. That's good to know, Pauline, for those who may frequent Mackey D's. All the vegan burgers have been recalled oh, at a local place. Have you tried the vegan pucker pies yet? No, I have some out there in the freezer. We'll get round to them at some point. Yeah. Um, we've actually got uh, pie and pastry um, taste test coming up this week. Oh, for yeah. For some new products that will be available at Morrison's from next week. And the company that made them have asked us if we'll try them out on camera. And we've said, of course we will, especially because they're a good price. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, without a doubt. I'm proper looking forward to that for obvious reasons. Anything pastry related. Michelle, oh, hi, Michelle. Michelle Lowe's been in the house the whole time. She's just had us on in the background because she's been busy, bee. Well, you, you thank you for streaming us and helping with those tube algorithms and things, those robots and all that computer stuff. Helps us spread the word. Thank you, Michelle. Check out Michelle Lowe's channel. She's awesome. She's another down to earth vegan. So, yeah, any any more questions before we bring this one to close? Lots of very positive comments, which is really nice. Oh, the vegan vlogger. You know, Sainsbury's are bringing one out. A beef style Wellington <clears throat> for Christmas as part of their plant pioneers. Yes. Range, as <clears throat> they're called. Uh, They're all going to be doing it. I'm very looking forward to I'm looking forward to seeing the whole new range at Asda and vlogging it, of course. And then I'm looking forward to um, vlogging 
what they're all offering uh, festively uh, because they'll all be doing, you know. Yeah, uh, I'm just picking up on um, what Hedge had said when I said about the taste test, the best kind of taste test. Mm. Anything that involves something in pastry. And something that's cheap and anyone can buy. Yes. That's that's the number one. That's, that's the, the, It's one of the first things I asked them, how much are these going to be? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So true. And I was, I was like, yep. Definitely. Because if we're going to review something... It has to be accessible. We want, Yeah, we want it to be accessible to the majority, not the minority. And yeah. um, prime example, um, and, and I don't even mind giving them a little plug because they're awesome, sugar noms that I mentioned the other day. Um, vegan sweets, you've taken all of the um, concern out of the way in terms of what sweets are vegan and what sweets aren't vegan. They sell fantastic stuff. And they do it at a very, very, very reasonable price. Fab so. fudge. Fab fudge, yeah. Eat real. Applewood. This isn't... Yes. You know, the, they're all foods that we've happily featured on the channel because we know pretty much anyone can get hold of them, even if it's only for a treat. Uh, Jill says, thanks, Paul and Jason. Uh, Stacey, what's your song of choice whilst you do the washing up? <laughs> I uh, am the one that does the washing up in this household. Paul does 99.9% .9 of the cooking. Um, and to be honest with you, um, normally I'm either listening to Paul singing a song um, or the television's on um, or YouTube's on in the living room whilst I'm just in here. So. Or he's humming or whistling something. He's got no idea what he's humming or whistling. And I'll come in and say, why are you, why are you humming that? Yesterday, it was that song from Tootsie. Time, I've been spending time watching trains go by all of my life. Oh. <laughs> it gives me tingles, that song is so beautiful. So random, in other words. Uh, great question, great question mm. there, um, Stacey. So thank you for that. Oh, and we just bought a new Billy Joel album. And it's brilliant. I played that about two o'clock this morning, didn't I? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's yeah. that song called? Terrible, terrible memory. Yeah. It, it instantly became a me to Gemini song as soon as I heard it. Hey, Denise, everybody loves a good taste test video, and that will always be one of the mainstays of our channel. We're always going to be doing shopping vlogs. We're always going to be doing taste tests and reviews. And we're always going to be doing easy, accessible recipes as well. Without a doubt. It's what we do. But we always try to... I think that's my, that this might be why I've avoided um, Satan, Satan for so long, because uh, it's not an easy thing to do. Mm. Do you know what I mean? And so I think people are more likely to buy it than make it. What? Well, Imran says, mine's bat out of hell, the long version. You can get plenty done in the kitchen in nine minutes. Like a bat out of hell, I'll be gone when the morning comes. Excellent. Yeah, excellent. When the night is over, like a bat out of hell, I'll be gone, gone, gone. Like a bat out of hell, I'll be gone when the morning comes. Uh, that's a really good point, Pauline. We are we're in the same boat. There's, there's a plethora out there. I've had to admit defeat in trying all new products. I'm so happy to fail because there's just so much to try. Oh, we don't, we don't, and and we do shopping vlogs. Yeah, and whenever we do a but, shopping, I was going to say whenever we do a shopping vlog, we get comments, of course, in the on the shopping vlog saying, "Love to see a taste test." Can't wait for you to do a taste test <laughs> and all this, and we're like, we don't normally. We'll do them on new products coming in, but just because these products are new in Sainsbury's doesn't mean they're new. Yeah. They're not new products. It's just that Sainsbury's now has them. And there's only so many hours in a day, unfortunately, although I would be happy to taste, test and put on video everything if we had the time and the headspace. Um, but we're busy, busy lads, busy lads. It's a, well, it's not that people ask for it, is it? It's, the, it's expectancy. Yeah. <laughs> Can't wait to see all the taste test videos on this stuff. And uh, I'm like, really? When are you going to make them then? <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's funny. Uh, People are funny. Uh, Muddy Paul says, Paul, no eggs. Craig's mum did a sea tan sausage video. Looked quite easy. Nice Ooh, one. Oh, nice one. On, what, on Craig's channel? It'd be on Craig's channel, yeah. It will have been. It would have been a while back, I imagine, though, if it was. We'd have to go searching. Uh, but thank you, Muddy Paws. That's awesome. Yeah, well, I know yeah, you... Basically, I mean, it's basically, Satan is a door. 
you make dough. So you can flavour it in whatever way you want. I remember you making it, yeah. yeah you yeah. want to make it into well, we did just a basic one, didn't we? But yeah. I said, if you remember, when the second cooking, because of course there's the whole boiling it for ages first and then da da da. And then when all that was over, leaving it for a really long time. And then I sliced it really thin and fried it, and it tasted like some somewhere between chicken and pork. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it had a pork-like texture. I should imagine it's like most things, isn't it? Is once you've done it a few times and you kind of get used to it, you just it just becomes second nature. Yeah, mm. it's just I don't know. I could be bothered. Uh, Tracy says, um, "Thanks so much, you guys. Are so down to earth and easy to listen to. I've learned so much. Oh, That's brilliant! Thank nice you, one, Tracy. Tracy. That's lovely. That's why we did this because hopefully we we'd really like people to." start enjoying tofu mm -hmm. because it's cheap it's high protein it's low fat it's good for you you know and as long as you're mixing in all your vegetables and and, and salads and yeah everything. yeah obviously like we said right at the start this was not a meal today this no was, no you know the all of these tofus would form great parts of other meals like the scrambled tofu is perfect with a, a full vegan breakfast which we've done many times the egg mayo is just perfect for sandwiches just Perfect for sandwiches, as are the fried egg pieces, which you could also have on a breakfast. Yeah. Um, and the crispy baked tofu, you can have over noodles with rice and broccoli on its own. You know, it's a very versatile and wonderful ingredient. My only regret, much like being vegan, is that I didn't discover it sooner. Well, I didn't learn how to use it sooner. Yeah. Because I'd have been all over it. Yeah, but when you do, it's it's quite a, a, a miraculous thing, really, isn't it? Like I said, right at the very start of today, uh, an hour and a half ago, it's so versatile. There's so much you can do with it, um, and you can do multiple things at once, of course, as we've demonstrated today, or as Paul's demonstrated today. Um, so that's, that's kind of what it was all about, really. Lots more coming from us in the near future, as always. Oh. Wash that flour. <laughs> WTF. Satanism. A great Facebook page for oh, Satan. Yeah. Satan. Brilliant. Well, I've got Thingy's book up here. Where is it? Let me show you. This is, this is such a, such a good book. Um... Found it, yeah. Yeah. Cool. Something's telling me if I be you all of my life. Oh, my phone's gone up. Why's my phone gone up? Oh dear. Fabulous book. Um, so it's got a whole section on Tan. Seatan specialities like Seatan Mignon, Seatan Satay, Kefta Meatballs, Beef, Reuben, Bacon, Rack of Ribs, Seatan Roasts. It's got so many fabulous recipes in. I think I just did the basic. This is what I did the Seatan from. Okay. Uh, and there's also a lot of um, dairy alternatives and everything. Better butter, heavy cream, sour cream, golden parmesan, heavenly whipped cream. Uh, if you're a cook and you enjoy books, highly recommended. Highly. Mm. The answer is, what do we think about sweet tofu today? Muddy Paws has just written frozen, buffering. Yeah. Ah. Buff, buff, buff. Buff, off, 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 ing. Right, well, you know what we'll do then? We'll bring it to a close now. Just refreshed and it's still not working. Oh, no, where? Oh, and back. And we're back. We're back. Right. Thank you, everybody. Thank you for the, the updates. It's good to know. And it's really good for you to let us know when technical stuff goes a bit awry. But it looks like we're back. Yes. Good. All is good. 
Because I would have hated to have had to say goodbye without anyone being there. I will, uh, just for anybody that's come over from Facebook to YouTube, I should also mention that my phone battery went. Did it? It was on 60 odd percent when we started. And, then and I che done. checked my phone before and it was off. It was switched off. Wow. So anybody that was watching us on Facebook, and I'm going to have to comment on the video now at some point and just apologize that my old S9 battery couldn't handle uh, an hour and a half live stream on, uh, on Facebook. Um, but you delightful bunch um, have been amazing. Thank you so much for joining us this afternoon. And, and more importantly, uh, checking out Paul's culinary prowess with tofu. I hope you enjoyed yourself. Certainly enjoyed just having a chat with you all and, you know, everybody saying hello. Um, uh, and uh, I hope that you've uh, learned something um, about tofu. For those of you that uh, have been avoiding it or not knowing what to do with it, that was the aim. I think we've managed to do that. We've managed to knock up in just over an hour four completely different ways to use tofu. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. And uh, if you want to see our uh, mini quiches, just do a little search on our channel. They use tofu too. Uh, we've got a separate recipe video for our crispy baked tofu. The fried egg tofu is in its own little video, and as is the scrambled tofu. We... And, of course, quiche Karen. Can't, oh, yeah. can't forget quiche Karen. And quiche Karen, of course. We've just managed to kind of squeeze them all into one little video today to help you out. So thank you all so much for joining us. Thank you so much for the super chats. You'd be surprised how much they help, um, as will if anybody's not comfortable doing super chats but wants to help out. PayPal donations are gratefully appreciated. And there is also a link for that in the description of every video. Helps us keep doing what we're doing. Uh, like Paul said, you'd be amazed uh, how, that a little goes a long way. Um, we're always massively appreciative. We really are. There's lots yeah. more. <laughs> There's lots more coming from us, um, as always. And if uh, my last little request before we sign off today is if any of us in any way can help us to hit that 7K subscribers on YouTube. Can we, can we answer word. Ashleen before she implodes? What's she asking? She, Ashleen, <laughs> just calm down, woman. You're a middle-aged Irish woman. You act like a bloody teenager sometimes, as much as I love you. What's she asking? I don't know. I don't know. She might have been asking about merch. Uh... Merch. That's... Just, just a word, Ashley. <laughs> we're, 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 we're in a transitionary period. I think she was asking um, further up. I think I did catch Fair. her. Uh, yeah. Um, be rude not to. Be rude not to. shirt ready. You'll, you'll see very soon. Sometimes you ask us questions that we can't answer yet. Yes. Um, so maybe that's why they get ignored. And, of course, sometimes, um, you know, yeah, things, as Paul said, do bubble away in the background. And uh, whenever there's a question we can answer... By heck, we will answer it. We'll make sure to answer it. Um, but yeah, update on merch um, coming over the next couple of weeks. Can't say anything um, too conclusive on that at the moment, but watch this space. And as I'm sure most of you, if not all of you, are already following us on our social media, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. Ashleen, 30s middle-aged. Average uh, life <laughs> expectancy is 70. That's 76, but... Well, <clears throat> yeah. I don't blame Ashleen for taking offence at that. <laughs> I agree with you, Ashleen. I agree. And if so, I'm 41, and if somebody, and I am middle aged, and if someone referred to me as middle aged, I'd be like, you what? I'm old. I'm very proud of it. I've spent 51 years on this good earth, putting up with all this bullshit and all these <laughs> horrible people. Sharona! And yeah, I'm still here, lovely. I had to do it once today. Um, please uh, go to the channel and check out uh, the new uh, episode of Vincent V. Egan. Uh, with with roving reporters Stephen Sitan and Gilbert Grump. Gilbert Grump. Now there is some footage of things being put into a skip outside a slaughterhouse. Yeah, it's fair to say that. Be warned. Yeah, it's not. You can skip past that. We thought it was too important to edit out. To be honest. Yeah. If people are going to come and watch for the comedy value and they're not vegan yet, that's what you're contributing to. Yeah. Yeah, it's important that you see it. It's all about getting the message out there in different ways. And often a comedy way is one way of doing it. Um, and you can slip a, a, a very important message and have an undertone there that is really vital to all of us 
surviving and continuing to grow on this beautiful planet. So there. There you go. I love you, mister. I love you. Mm. Love you guys. Uh, we'll get off now. I want to say thank you so much for watching. Once again, really hope you've learned something. If you have, yay. If you haven't, you think you are someone that's special. <laughs> uh, take care of yourselves. We'll see you again very soon. Until then, please be excellent to yourselves. Oh, our moderators, thank you so much. Yes. And thank you, all our channel members and our Patreons. Kelly did make it, by the way. Just... I know. Hi, Kelly. <laughs> Hi, Kelly. Bye, Kelly. Kelly, Hedge and Leanne, moderators, thank you so much. Yes. Be excellent to yourselves and each other. Bye.